Hello everybody, this is Vibo with Debo's Movie Reviews here, and today I'll be reviewing Planet Terror, part two of the of the, of the Grindhouse a double feature from 2007, which one was Tarantino's Death Proof, and then you got about Planet Terror, which is The, which is the part two. And you'd think they'd be two different movies, but they kind of follow along a certain canon, given the castings of, given how Marty Sherrill, I mean, before that, before I go on to that, I mentioned the whole, the, ca the casting. Not only was it directed by the legendary Robert Rodriguez, but you got Rose McGowan as Cherry Darling, Fred Rodriguez as Ray, Michael Bean as the sheriff, with Jeff A as JT, who just runs the barbecue joint. So that's bar, and then you got Bruce Willis as the you know as the army commando with with Michael Parks as in his t Texas Ranger role. That was famous in that was famous in like. Kill Bill, Dust O' Dawn, and Death Proof, which of course this one pans out to where you got got her and Josh Brolin as doctor as a husband and wife doctor team who go to their night shift at the hospital right before the night, the the breakout starts and then and then you got. And of course, with Bruce Willis and Commando's crew walking into the base, with of course Cherry Darling hanging up, hanging up the pole, hanging up, or just quitting her job as the go-go dancer, to, and then meets across her ex-boyfriend who runs the tow truck, tow truck company. And then, of course, even with Breakout, they become the first one, some of the first ones to know everything. And then, of course, in horror movie cliche, you get the sheriff who has a, a beef with, beef with some guy who could, like, like a the whole deal with, with like a lot of horror movie tropes is always like one person who can always say somebody has a beef with a sheriff. Where when it was a especially preferably when it's a male male character who is a either porking a sheriff's daughter or or an ex con he just put away and and conv can't convince the sheriff that he's changed, and then of course. Got to get with got to give it to Michael Bean playing a good sheriff, and then of course with Tom Savini as the deputy, who was the ultimate special effects master, and oof. and of course how can you not forget the old the whole leg thing where. Rose McGowan loses one leg and then replaces it with an AR-15 AR with a grenade launcher. Or actually, M-16. I mean, she basically replaced, replaced it with like a stiletto boot with a with a Scarface gun. Almost a little, a little like the old gender swap variant of a of the Scotsman from Samurai Jack. You know, where the machine gun leg and all. And then, woof! And all those badass action scenes, which... And excellent looking cars, cause hell, when it comes to comes to comes to Robert Rodriguez movies, those are key components. I'm surprised the man hadn't directed a Fast and Furious movie yet. I mean, that is 
one that was still more grounded in actually about street racing before the whole secret agent family stuff came around. And then, of course, you got, got an excellent performance by Josh Brolin and Marley Shelton, who's Shelton's character was the daughter of Michael Parks' character, the Texas Ranger, who was a freaking cameo appearance in like Kill Bill and Dust of Dawn and the second Dust of Dawn where Robert Patrick. And of course with with that you got got of course all that epic action. Like I already mentioned, Rose McGowan has a girl with a machine gun leg, and then, then of course, with Michael Bean as the sheriff, Jay Fahey, who's always pretty much been an underrated act, actor, in my opinion. Bruce Willis as a commando, Tom Savini as a, as a deputy, Fred Rodriguez as Ray, and... I mean, I mean, probably one of the more most iconic zombie, great zombie movies around. When they got all the survivors trying to fight the zombies instead of each other, which is kind of a lot, lot, one kind of one different instead of most zombie films or the or the Walking Dead series before it got from. Zombies to each other and yada 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 on that one. And oof, a lot of epic scenes of like how Bruce Will when Bruce Willis gets contagion and and starts puff puffing up looking like a like something out of the, like the, that got off of Garrett's Pale Kids movie. And then, of course, of course, old car and gun scenes, and then that little epic ending of and all. And not to delve too more into spoilers, but I'm going to give this one a five out of five. I mean, come on. I mean, it's practically one of the perf one of the most perfect zombie movies around. It was great casting. Great casting, especially since it's, I mean, my, and my all-time favorite Rose McGowan role, along with probably the best thing Freddie Rodriguez has done, in my opinion, and not too familiar with his work, but but I got handed old Michael Bean and Bruce Willis, always a couple of favorites of mine, and then Jeff Fahey, oh, kind of up there, that one that's up there with is rolling machete, which I've already reviewed, but I'm going to give Planet Terror epic. And you'd think it, with a name like Planet Terror, you'd think it'd be be a be about space aliens or something. But nah, it's just zombies in Texas, and and of course, be like almost like Resident Evil with rednecks. But overall, a definite sure shit 5 out of 5.